and welcome to another Modern Toy Fair review. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at the NECA TMNT Tune Accessory Set. Big shout out to my co-host Nate for letting me take a look at his because I unfortunately have still yet to find one for myself. But as always, please make sure to stick around to the end of the video to see all the photos I took and let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and feelings are and if you've been lucky enough to find one of these. But that's enough cheer chatter, let's go ahead and get at her. Alright, let's start off strong with the TV. So we've got the little knobs, little on off button, we've got the gray there, some brown for the TV itself, gray around the trim of the screen, got the little legs, we got the leg that's missing being held up by some books, which have some really cool like detail in them, like the spine on the one book looks really good, the pages are actually looking like they're molded and like have some wash to them, like they really went all, come on, they really went all out. And then you get to the back of the TV, which they didn't even have to do anything with, and you've got like all this detail and sculpt, and, like it's insane. Uh, another thing is I really like is the VCR. However, it pegs in, which is a little weird to me because I, I want to be able to use the VCR, you know, separately. But I guess I could sand that off, but then it wouldn't stick in. I don't know. Uh, it, it's weird. Um, but anyway, the, v the VCR itself is awesome. You get the little VCR tape to go in. It's got the front is all painted and it has the kind of window so you can see the tape inside. The back even has like the little carved out like notches for the wheels so you can rewind it. It's, it's crazy. And like it fits in the VCR like so. The VCR itself, you know, it doesn't stay in like you just have to flop it out. It doesn't really have anything to like eject it. But the VCR looks amazing though with all the buttons and the antennas. Like I really, really like it. Um, then you do have the screens that are interchangeable. So let's go through those real quick. You've got Ace Duck here in the front, then you've got Rocksteady and Bebop, then we've got Donnie in disguise, we've got a giant dinosaur kaiju, got some good old wrestling, got a giant blob monster, and then we've got Vernon's Channel 6 show, and then we've got April on her Channel 6 news, and then we've got the little video game night guy. So the way that you put these in is you pop this off. You got the four notches there, so it hooks in. And you've got the little slider piece to hold it in. We're gonna do the little knight here, and oop, just drops in like that. Easy peasy. And you just gotta line those little pegs up with the holes, and voila, which will lead perfectly into our next accessory, which is the video game system. This is so cool. Like, first off, this looks so great. It looks like a SNES. You've got the buttons on there. You've got the cartridge. All these lines. The cartridge does not come out, though, uh, which would have been a cool touch, but I get it. It does have this little hole in the back, though, which is weird to me. Like, I don't know what that goes to. Hmm. If you know, let me know in the comments below. But that's gonna, yeah, that's gonna bother me. I feel like there should be a cord or something. But, yeah, you do have little joysticks. They don't move or anything. You get the buttons. And then you do have these kind of softer rubbery plastic here for the cords, so it's not stiff. You can it's a little bit malleable. So yeah, I really like this. You sit in front of it, and boom, it looks incredible. Next up is Big Mac. I think that's his name. I can't remember. Um, so yeah, you've got this amazing like tread down here. It leads up to the white that has all these great like black outlines and all the details and his arms and everything. Got the little blue for his like camera lens for his eyeball. Those little lines for his vent for his mouth. It does have this like scorpion tail blaster that does move around but does pop out. Pop that back in. And you can see, yeah, it goes around, but it does loosen up. And then the arms are pretty articulated as well. Uh, and then you can see all of that detail of the black, like making sure that all of the sculpting really pops against that white. You can twist him there on the bottom of the base. And then he does have a little bit of almost like an ab crunch, I guess. Like you can see, kind of twist him around. And then the arms have quite a bit of range there of the little 
ball peg, we've got single jointed elbows. However, the hands are backwards, so he can't hold the pizza like he is on the box. But I guess in theory, you could flip the arms around and pop them off and pop on the other way to do that if you really want to. I don't know how well that would work. Uh, the head does have quite a bit of tilt, not a lot of uh, forward or anything like that, but you can twist his head almost like 100%, I guess 360 degrees all the way around. It's pretty impressive, but yeah, up and down and side to side, not so much. He does have this like missile on the top of his head. It does not move though, um, but it's a little crooked, so you probably have to heat that up if yours is like that. After that, we've got the little Mauser. He's all white. You've got the little black at the hip. You've got the kind of light gray for the like underbelly. The mouth closes, and it does have a hinge so you can reopen it. If I can get it to reopen, there we go. Let's see the black inside the mouth, the teeth cut out, a little red for the eyeball. And then you do have some articulation. The Legs do swivel at the hip joint all the way around. Then you've got a little knee that bends back and forth. And a little ankle that pivots both directions as well. So you can get tons of different poses there. Then we've got this little blowtorch, which has some really great detail. You've got the little knob there for the nozzle. You've got some paint to show like the little bendy parts, which aren't bendy for the record. On this, you've got the green for the tank with the yellow label. Then you've got, I believe this is Baxter Stockman's, uh, some sort of locator device. I can't remember exactly what it was, but it's got all sorts of knobs and buttons and little crosshair on the screen and antennas and cords and tons of sculpt. You even got some vents or speakers, whatever that is supposed to be on the back. So a lot of love went to that. You have this little ray gun, which has the, you know, generic alien look to it with the circles around the barrel. A little red in there. You got buttons on both sides with that green and blue, which really pops. It looks really good. You also have a little trigger there on the handle. After that, you have this, uh, we got yelled at, but the Chaos uh, Emerald from Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, <laughs> it's a giant diamond. It looks like it has some like painted on scuffs or sparkles. I can't tell what they're supposed to be. Then we have the little baby pizza monsters, which are itty bitty with their little claws and you know, super tiny with the stripes on the heads and then their little teeth and looking all adorable. And then you got this backpack, which, you know, has the outline for a turtle shell. It's all yellow. Got the flap there that does not open. Got the straps with a little bit of detail there. And then the back is just open so it doesn't, you know, get impeded by the turtle's shells. Then you have this alternate uh, Baxter head with the shredder helmet on it which looks really good. Uh, the helmet itself almost looks better than the original one that they did for Shredder, which is kind of kind of sad, but yeah, I really like the paint job they did on it, and he looks great too. Then we have this piece. I have no idea what this is. Like, it's got a little peg on it. It's a little round piece. Wait, does it go in the back of the, the SNES? A little hole there? Let's see. And, and uh, Maybe not. I don't know. If you know what this is for, I'm dumb. Let me know in the comments below, because I can't figure it out. Then you have this lovely portrait of the cheese with this this frame though. The amount of like detail in this frame is insane. Like they did not need to do that. It looks so good. And if you flip it around, if you even got like the little hook thing so you can put it on the wall. Not that you know we have anything that you can hook that to. My personal favorite though is the pizza box. Like ah, oh, I love it. I love the colors. I love you know the design, and I love that it finally has a hinge. We're not stuck with that molded one that we got in the first set. Like, this looks so good. And then you got the pizza, which, you know, flip over. It does not have any of the seams for the cuts. I really wish they would have made it so you could, like, pull it apart. But I get it. Um, it, it looks really, really good. It stays in there really nicely. And when you close it, it's got that kind of, like, you know, folded cardboard look to it. It just really, really impresses me. And then we've got Rocksteady's helmet which everyone's been waiting so long. There's been a lot of customs out there. Here's an official one. That green and the goggles on top and the flaps down the side. Looks really good. I wish I had Rocksteady to put it on him. <laughs> All right, and closing us out are the baby turtles. So we've got Michelangelo, Donatello. Come get back up there, bud. Donatello, Leonardo, and Raphael. I'm going to show you each of them individually. We'll start with Michelangelo. And oh, as Donnie goes down again, get this back in focus. 
So get his arm spread so you can see a little bit more of the detail. Because it's nunchucks. So each of them come with little tiny versions of their weapons. But then you've got this amazing like head, tiny head sculpt. It looks just like Michelangelo. Got the smile, all the detail in the sculpt. Even down to the ties in the back of the bandana. And then you've got the shell and his belt with the M on it. You've got the knee pads and the elbow pads and everything. It's got a little nunchuck with the actual chain, which I really like. Put him back here, maybe. Come on. There you go, bud. Uh, then we're going to go on to Raphael, who, again, aside from the heads, these are in the, you know, obviously, the initial on the belt. These are all kind of reuse of each other. It's a lot of the same sculpt, but again, you've got all of that great work in the face, really bring out Raphael. You got the shell there on the back, which I don't think I showed with Michelangelo. And then his little size. And then for Leonardo, again, great face sculpts, different than the other ones. I do wish they each would have came with multiple heads, though, just so it could be more expressive. Or just made them all like happy or something, I don't know. But then it's got the shell, and his tiny little katanas. And last up is the best turtle, Donatello, who looks very concerned. Like, he, he looks like he's seen some shit. <laughs> but yeah, you got all of that lovely detail. You've got the purple, you've got the little tiny bow staff. And then I'll show you the articulation. So the ties to the mask twist all the way around. They do have a little bit of a rotation too, like they're on like a ball. A little bit there you can see. So you can get some different you know, options out of it. The arms do go up past 90. They do go 360 degrees all the way around. However, that, that's it. There's no, there, there's no wrist articulation, which sucks because they have these weapons. And it really limits like how you can pose them with them. And the tiny little legs do have full-on ankle pivots, though. Like, look at this. You can twist it all around, bend it back and forth, but we couldn't get a rotation at the wrist. Do better, NECA. Do better. Uh, and then getting them to stand is a nightmare. So if just to let you know. Oh, and I almost forgot. The, the heads do twist all about. They have the little ball. So you can get some tilt back and forth. And front up and down. And there you go. There are the baby turtles. All right, you've seen everything that's in the box. So let's see the box itself. You got the logo. You got this wonderful artwork, very reminiscent of the old school VHS tapes. Accessory set at the bottom. They're playing some video games there. The side has the Ninja Turtles logo and the little accessory set logo. Same on the opposite side. Up on top, you got the TMNT logo with the warning, don't choke on this. And bottom, you got all the legal stuff and the barcode and the not for kids. And on the back, you've got all of the pictures of how NECA has them posed in the diorama. With all the accessories and everything throughout it. So yeah, they, it's pretty solid. Okay, so overall, I'm, I'm pretty torn. There's a lot of things in this set that are really cool, and some things that are, you know, a little lackluster, and some things that I wish they would have done better. Uh, as far as the done better, I wish the turtles would have had just some sort of, like, wrist articulation. It doesn't have to be a full-on, like, swivel or anything, just a twist, so that way you can pose them with the weapons a little better. Um, I would really like for the TV VCR thing, like, I get the purpose of the peg, but it, I don't know, it just disappoints me just because I would like more versus Vitality out of it to be able to have the VCR used for in, in other ways, I guess. I don't know. Uh, at that point, I'm just kind of nitpicking. Beyond that, the accessories that come with it are great. Some of them I f feel like probably should have came with specific figures a long time ago, but others I get why, you know, we had to wait and get them this way. But at least we're getting them, and that's, you know, exciting. I love when companies do these accessory packs. I'm a huge accessory whore, so I, I eat it up every time, and I, I will most likely buy <laughs> any accessory pack that I come by if it's from any sort of line that I'm interested in or if it will fit in with a line that I'm interested in. But let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and feelings are. Do you like that NECA does these accessory packs? Do you wish that they would just pack this stuff with the figures? Uh, where, where do you stand on it? Also, make sure to stick around at the end of the video so we can check out all the photos I took. I had a lot of fun with these, which just made me more sad that I haven't found mine yet. Uh, fingers crossed. Unfortunately, I've been to several targets and either they've been picked over, had nothing but old non-holothon stuff on the end cap, 
or they just didn't have the end cap at all. So we'll we'll see what happens. Allegedly, they're doing restocks, but uh, it's not been looking good for me. But if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Helps us out here in the channel, and it gets you some toilet content in your feed. Normally, once things kind of settle down, we will have reviews on Mondays, let's poses on Tuesdays, live stream on Wednesdays, and the podcast on Fridays, along with some you know YouTube shorts sprinkled in here and there. Also, if you're a fan of the channel and would like to help support us in this crazy journey, you can head over to patreon.com forward slash modern toy fair where we have several tiers you can sign up for that get you anything from being able to make suggestions for the podcast to go in and get physical prints of the photos i take and even become a guest on our live stream along with so much more uh, so please make sure to check that out link is down in the description below and it also should be up on your screen currently as well but that's gonna be it for this week hopefully we see you next week same toy time same toy fair channel thank you for watching Thank you.